welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stocks Pushing and Reviewing the Market. Wild market right now because it's faking higher, then it fakes lower, and it's been fake, 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 fake. Again, we gapped up today, we rallied, and we collapsed. So even though it's 1 o'clock, we got three hours left in the day, I think it's going to be difficult for the market to close green today. It might try here late in the afternoon, a late afternoon rally. But there's some significant data out tomorrow morning that I think is more important than anything that hap is happening here today. Um, and that will be the determinant because it's out at 8.30 in the pre-market before the open where we really go from here. So if we follow through tomorrow on another gap up, we could take off and make new highs. If we do not and we gap down tomorrow, we could have a big sell-off tomorrow. And if we do, it'll be Thursday and Friday and it'll take us into the end of the week. And then December could start out very bearish. So, and I think you're going to really see the market's hand in the next 24 hours. I don't think there's really a takeaway from today. Um, and I said the same thing two weeks ago when we had this gap up here. But you do have to respect the gap. So the market gapped up today. Again, someone from the Fed started talking about a recession and raising rates again. But the Fed never said they weren't going to raise rates anymore. And the Fed never said they were going to lower rates in 2024 either, even though people think that. So the rally we've seen for the entire month of November, only have one more day left, tomorrow's November 30th, has been because everyone, everyone, except for me, thinks the Fed is going to not raise rates in December and lower rates in 2024. So I don't think that because I'm just listening to what the Fed's saying. And they never said that. So... Um, I'm just taking it carte blanche. People are reading into it what they want to read into it. So this is a very tricky market, but the other thing I've noticed about this, and I just want to point it out, how low volume the market is. It is a Wednesday in the middle of the week. Look at the volume. In fact, let's look at Tesla. Tesla has almost four times Tesla, the market that's in the ETF and the Qs. That's highly unusual. It's so strange. It's not normal. So... That's very telling as well. People are just waiting to see what happens. They want to wait and see. So the Fed meeting is not for two more weeks, two more weeks from today, actually. And it's a long way for us to not to go anywhere. So I think we're going to have a move in the next 24 hours. We'll see where we go. Good luck, everyone. If you'd like more information and you want to sign up for the Golden Gap course, the last one for 2023 is December 16th and 17th, where you will learn how I make the gap picks and how I read market trends. Email me if you'd like to sign up at melissa at the stocks, Have a great day, everyone.